Hi, my name is Jeff Fassbinder and I'm with the Line Corporation. And today I'm going to introduce you the new A5 transmitter that's compatible with your iPhone and iPads. Uh, we have an application available at the App Store that uh, we're going to show on an iPad here and show you how to download the software and use it to utilize it to fly your T-Rex helicopter, T-100. Uh, what's unique about it is that it has two modes of flight capability. One is a traditional stick type movement. The other is called a tilt control. And that is the tilting of either your iPhone or iPad. And we're going to give you a flight demonstration of that here very shortly. But before we do that, I want to show you how to get the software. And uh, what we'll do is we'll go to the uh, iTunes. And when we go to the iTunes, we'll go under the search function in iTunes and search. You can search three things, basically. What you want to look for is Align, Align Flight, or T-Rex 100. Any of those uh, search names will yield the software that you need, Align Flight, and uh, it'll download in a few short minutes and basically just install the application and you can do what you see here, basically, some of the controls. So why don't we uh, get a close-up so that way everybody can see the uh, software up close and personal and get a better idea of what its capabilities are. Hi, we've just introduced the new A5 transmitter for the iPad and iPhone and now we're going to go into the App Store and select the Align Flight software. All we need to do is simply go into the App Store and we're going to go into the search function and we can select one of three keywords. We can select Align, we can uh, type in Align Flight or we can type in T-Rex 100. Any of those will work. Right now we're going to type in a line. Let's go ahead and click the search. And we're going to immediately go ahead and select iPhone as far as our selection. And immediately you'll see the iPhone uh, app search yields the Align flight software. So we're going to go ahead and select that. So that's what we need to fly our T-Rex 100 and we're going to select install. This is the stick mode and uh, this is very similar to that of conventional radio type operations. But again, what's very unique about the new uh, Align Flight software is that it has the ability to utilize this tilt function for those who've never flown a helicopter before. They become grayed out. So the actual trim here has been grayed out, neutralized, if you will, and uh, there is no trim. There is, however, reverse function for rudder, throttle, elevator, and aileron. Uh, should you need to use that, you can, but they are set up right now in their default configuration. When looking at the flight controls, you'll notice that there's a setup button in the top right hand corner and there's a throttle stick here and we can move that up and down and this is how you make the helicopter move up and down to, to ascend and to descend right or left input and that's how we control the tail or the yaw control the yaw axis Right now, you'll see in the top here as well, in mode 2, it says tilt. This function here is disabled. It will not move when it's in tilt mode. Uh, this is by design. And the reason that is, is that we'll actually utilize your, either your iPad or iPhone tilt. Literally tilting it. And uh, we'll, show you, we'll show you that. We'll get you some video of actual flight using the tilt function while the T-Rex 100 is flying. I'll go back to setup and I'll move it to stick control. Again, you notice that the trims, aileron trim, is now active as well as the elevator trim. Again, you do have the ability to utilize these reversing functions, but these are set up correctly uh, as your helicopter should fly. Now I'm going to go back to the screen here. Again, throttle is functioning correctly. Your rudder, right, left, 
right means the nose of your helicopter is moving to the right, left, the nose is moving to the left. Okay, now on this side, this controls what's known as cyclic. Pulling this back is up, or pulling the nose up, pushing it forward, is pushing the nose down, moving it to the right, tilts the helicopter to the right, and moving it to the left, tilts it to the left. Taking your hand off puts the stick back in the center position here. Uh, right now I want to show you a unique feature of the stick function and what you can do as far as uh, when utilizing the sticks, where you need to put your thumbs. Conventionally, on a on a normal transmitter, you would put your fingers or thumbs right on top of the gimbal to move the various flight controls. With the Align software, if you don't happen to have large hands, you, maybe your hands you have small hands, or you have really big hands, you can simply put your thumb anywhere on the screen to grab the stick. We're going to use the throttle for demonstration right now. And as I slide my finger, you'll notice that if my hand was smaller, my thumbs weren't as long, I could grab the side of the screen here and move the stick without being directly on top of that stick, right on top of it, as you normally would with a conventional radio. When I move my hand over to the left, I get left input, move it to the right, goes to the right. Take my hand off, it'll go back to center there and at low throttle. Now if I go to the other side here, which is cyclic, this is uh, for mode 2, again this is up, this is down, and in relation to what we're talking about with the helicopter, that would be forward flight, and this would bring it aft, or tilt the nose back, back or up. And then when we go to the right, we'll make the helicopter tilt to the right, on axis or tilt to the left. Again, if I don't have necessarily uh, really large hands to get to this center point, I can simply grab from right out here and have access to the stick and its full range of motion. So when I let my hand off, it'll go back to center. And again, I can pick from down here. This is my new center point and move it over to the left to the right, come down here, like that. If I let my thumb off, it goes again, snaps to center. So again, if uh, you do happen to have uh, smaller hands or really large hands, this works to your advantage with the uh, Align Flight software. So again, that's a unique feature, only found here with the Align software. And again, look for this product, it's the A5 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, transmitter interface that you can utilize with both iPad and iPhone products. Thank you. Hi, we're talking about the new A5 transmitter that enables you to utilize your iPad or iPhone to fly the new T-Rex 100. Um, but before you're going to go out and fly with this unit, you're going to need to charge it up. Uh, there is a USB cable that's included that will plug into any standard USB port. All you need to do is simply plug it into your A5 here on the side. There's a USB port here. You just plug this in. And then you'll have the LED that's uh, red in color. Once it's completed, it's charged, it will turn off and basically let you know that it's fully charged. Um, and so you just leave that plugged into your computer and it'll charge that up for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to plug in the A5. I'm going to power it up. Hold down the power button. We got a nice little blue light there flashing at us. We'll go ahead and plug this in. Okay. And we're going to get our battery and our T-Rex 100 here. We go ahead and plug that in. Put that down. The lights flashing here, and we're going to bind it. Simply power it on. And we'll wait till they go solid. And now it's it's bound. Hi, we're exploring the new A5 2.4 gigahertz transmitter function that you can utilize with your iPad and iPhone. 
Uh, right here, you'll notice that we have a screen here. It shows you a couple of modes, or actually stick control or tilt control. Uh, tilt control is a new feature, a unique feature of the T-Rex 100. It enables you to actually tilt the iPad or iPhone to make your helicopter move. As I tilt the helicopter, or I should I say the actual iPad here, the helicopter would tilt forward in the same manner. It's happening in the swash plate, and so if I tilt aft, the helicopter would tilt aft. If I tilt to the right, the helicopter again would dip to the right and to the left. This is a unique feature called tilt control. Uh, you also notice that when you're utilizing tilt control that the elevator trim as well as the aileron trim are inhibited. That's due to you actually holding center with the iPad or iPhone. So that's how you trim the helicopter for flight. If you choose to use a traditional method known as stick control, you simply click the control function here and you'll see a screen just like you see here. Um, what you'll see here though is this stick, when you pull aft, the helicopter will move aft. Just like if you were going like this with tilt control, that's what that does. When I go forward or down, tilt, you don't need to tilt the, you don't actually need to tilt your iPad or iPhone, you just move the stick forward. Throttle, I'm going to spool it up here, Kenny, is right here. And this is, again, this is mode 2. You can change that. Uh, per your flying style, if you choose to use mode 1 or mode 3, that is available in the setup function here under stick mode. So you can change that and that would move this throttle function. Right now we're using mode 2, which most people do utilize. So just again, that's for throttle. You want to go left, the nose of the helicopter would go to the left, go to the right, the nose of the helicopter goes to the right. Okay? And this is, again, another unique feature of the T-Rex 100. So if you are uh, going to your uh, local hobby store and looking for a new exciting way to fly radio control helicopters, the A5 gives you the ability again to utilize either stick mode or tilt control. And we'll f we think that you'll find this a fun exciting way to explore RC helicopters. Hi, today we're looking at the T-Rex 100 and the Align Flight software. Right now we want to describe to you the uh, trim function that's available for the tail of your helicopter via the front panel here before you get into the setup mode here. Basically when you're flying you may need to correct for tail yaw. And how you do this while in flight is simply you utilize these two arrows right here on the iPad, uh, on the iPad here and basically if your helicopter was going to the left you'd give some right input to neutralize that. Same for instance if it was yawing to the right, if your helicopter was going to the right, you'd simply give some left input until that yawing stops. Once it's trimmed out and your helicopter is operating without any drift or anything like that, you're trimmed out as far as the tail is concerned. But also there's another feature in setup which enables us to basically trim out their helicopter whether it be uh, flying forward or backwards going to right or left. And how we do that is simply go into the setup mode, click setup, and you'll notice that there's an elevator trim and aileron trim. So if the helicopter was kind of slightly going forward, we'd simply move the trim back until the helicopter remains level. And the same for if it was going to the right or left. In this case, let's use left. If the helicopter was moving to the left, we could simply induce some right trim until the helicopter, again, is flying level. Now, should you find that the trim function, even when moved to its maximum, say you crash or something to that effect, you may need to adjust your ball links. And what you simply do there is pop a ball link, and then you'll twist that either in or out, depending on the need of your helicopter. But that's how you make some uh, corrections to the flight control as well. Please note, though, if you tilt control, that these trims are grayed out, meaning they, they're inoperable, they're not working. And in order to trim the helicopter, you'd simply adjust your iPad or iPhone for the correct flying position. I'm going to put it back to stick, go to back, and that's the screen there. So this is to teach you about the trims and the functionality of the Align Flight software. And always remember, if you do crash uh, or you know something happens, 
always remember to pull your throttle back in the down position to turn off the motor. Thank you for uh, choosing Align. Hi, my name is Jeff Fassbinder with Align Corporation and here today we're using the new A5 2.4 GHz transmitter and uh, this is hooked up to our iPad and we're going to do a demonstration flight for you. Right now I'm in uh, stick mode and uh, basically it's utilizing the sticks as you've seen in the previous segment. If you take a look at that you'll see what my hand movements actually do. And so let's get started here. We're going to go ahead and power this up and check it out. If you're familiar with flying, you've flown with a traditional transmitter. It's very similar to that as far as the stick movements. Just like with a transmitter, you you know you want to make real subtle inputs. Right now, I'm just doing a little bit of a rotor input there and uh, utilizing the fore and aft function to move the helicopter around. Again, you want to fly this in a relatively unobscured flying area. And uh, this A5 is compatible with either your iPad or iPhone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and land it here, and then I'm going to switch to the uh, tilt function. Put it down here. Alright, right, we've just uh, finished our stick control demonstration and now we're going to utilize tilt control. Simply select tilt control in this uh, panel here that you see here. And basically that is the setup panel. Just simply select that from the top button. You'll notice that the left hand stick is disabled. That is because the iPad tilt is actually taking its, giving the inputs to the T-Rex 100 through the tilt function here. So let's go ahead and power it up and uh, get into a little flight here so you can check it out. When you first uh, try this out, if you've flown a conventional radio, it might seem a little different to get you know used to. But if you've never flown a helicopter before, you don't necessarily have to learn what the functions do, you just need to know how to tilt your iPad or iPhone. So I'm utilizing on my right hand uh, throttle and the rudder control to control the tail and tilting the iPad to give the inputs that I want to stabilize the helicopter. Again, uh, with some practice, you get pretty proficient with this in a short amount of time and uh, never have, have flown a helicopter before. Again, this is a unique feature to that of the T-Rex 100 and uh, I'm using the optional A5 2.4 gigahertz uh, transmitter. That's a plug-in module that you see on the side of the I iPad. So let me uh, land here. Pull back my throttle. Again, it's that simple. It does take some getting used to, but it's a unique experience, unlike any other that's available on the market, and we think you find it very fun and exciting to explore RC helicopters. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jeff Fassbinder, and I'm here at Align Corporation, and we're talking about the T-Rex 100 and post-crash inspection. If you should have a crash and uh, crash your helicopter either into a wall or a table or something like that, there are a couple things you're going to want to look at. So, for instance, if you take off and your helicopter falls over like this. Whoa. Well, there's a crash for you. If your helicopter does crash and fall down prior to flying it, you're going to want to check out a few things. First and important thing here is the rotor head. And how you check that is very simply, you can hold the helicopter in your hand and there's a main gear down here. 
you're going to want to spin that rotor head and check to make sure that this is running without any wobbles or any vibration. Make sure that that main shaft is basically bend free, which it is. The other thing you want to check also is the tail. The tail, if you were to bump into a tail or, or should I say the a chair or a wall or something like that, you can bend this shaft. Uh, so in order to check that, what you're going to do is just basically spool up the head. We check the head. Now we're also looking at the tail here. We're checking if there's any vibration. If there's vibration in the tail, there may be a need to either change the motor and or the tail blades. Um, if you do bump into the wall on the main rotor blades, uh, we do have spares available, but you wanna make sure, you know, if you do crash into the wall and there's a tear or a nick or anything like that, that you get one of those replacements that we have for the uh, rotor blades. Uh, this is to ensure that you have smooth flight performance with your T-Rex 100 and also uh, enable your helicopter to fly stable. So we're going to check it out. We did just fall off the table there just so you can see that. Uh, it is a very durable product, but by the same token, if there are damage, if there is vibration, uh, it's best that you go to your local retailer and uh, get those parts in order to optimize the performance of your T-Rex 100. Uh, there's another thing that can happen too when you crash, and that is the canopy. We've gotten some questions from uh, a lot of people online via Facebook or our online website, and that is, you know, they've cracked their canopy and they ask us basically, well, should I replace it? And the answer is yes. The reason you want to replace it is because that if it's torn or cracked, what'll happen is it'll start wobbling, you know, with the, uh, some of the resonance within the main gear here like that, and it'll induce a vibration, very slight, but that, what that will do is degrade the performance of the tail rotor system. And so you're going to want to make sure that you just go ahead and get another canopy for it. It'll look beautiful and uh, your helicopter will fly a lot smoother for it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it down here after falling off the table there so you can see how durable it is. And we're going to go ahead and fly this. So if you're just looking to get started, you got a relatively small area to fly in. Uh, it's a great helicopter, you can fly it indoors. Just getting you know, acquainted with the uh, movements of uh, cyclic and the throttle, you know, which is a fixed pitch at the moment here. And uh, even after we've uh, a little incident there still flies very well so uh, again uh, you can find this at your local retailer this is the t-rex 100 you get anywhere from five to six minutes with the uh, full charged battery and uh, it's, a, it's a great little helicopter to learn on make sure you check us out we'll land right here t-rex 100 Look for it in your local retailers.